Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we have the updated quarterback tier list. Of course, the video where I will rank every single quarterback basically in this game right now. And of course, they are ordered from left to right as far as how good they are on each tier. And today we're going to cover, I think we have nine quarterbacks to talk about today. Of course, there are some new names already on here. Baker Mayfield, Phillip Rivers, uh, Fran Tarkenton, Dak Prescott's new. Um, is anyone else? Jordan Love, Slinger One's nice. And then there's, uh, you know, Dan Marino up there as well. Um, we have a lot of names to cover today. Before we get started, though, if you are in the 53% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, there's a lot of new people coming to the channel, whether it's for Zero Chill or you just got the game. If you are playing Madden Ultimate Team, this is the best place to be. I, I make really, really your one-stop shop for all your Madden 24. Um, content is right here our shout out for today's video goes to my man craziest maybe something like that for commenting the emoji on last video and if you want a chance to be shout out in the next one let's comment the frog emoji okay to get it started here today we have matthew stafford um this card isn't bad and i've actually used this card i know a lot of people probably haven't used him i mean having a rans team and i love using matt stafford cards i actually did give this card a try and uh, he plays fairly well. He's got a decent deep release. Short release, he does have some problems. I never used him with Gunslinger, though. I will say that because he does get seven feet lead. And with there no, being no ability discounts on offense right now, it's kind of tough to fit everything that I needed in. So I actually did not try this card with Gunslinger. However, with seven feet, the release is okay. Of course, it is a Slinger release. So it has that slight flip, which I like. So Matt Stafford, yeah, one of his steam teams go for it. Obviously not the most mobile guy, but does get seven feet lead and a pretty solid release. So um, I will put Matt Stafford at the top of A tier. And next up, we have Otto Graham. And I absolutely do love this card, mainly because he is, you know, he has that old head drip, the one face mask, the long white sleeves. Um, I mess with this Otto Graham card heavy. Uh, 87 speed, 80 acceleration. So he doesn't move. He moves okay, but you definitely do feel that slow acceleration um you, you definitely do feel it but stat wise 90 mid 90 deep 90 throw on the run 90 throw under pressure and also a pretty good ball carrier um you know the stats that don't matter is, is like the 90 trucking for example unless you're really feeling ballsy and you're willing to run over a linebacker at the goal line you're either going to be juking with your quarterback or you're going to be you know sliding with your quarterback or going out of bounds of your quarterback no one is going for stiff arms in their right mind consistently you're going for trucks consistently with their quarterback so to me these two stats on a quarterback i know like you know cam newton cards usually have this but you know i i i said this in a in the comments the other day i know no one probably saw it but um yeah they gotta add more scrambler abilities in my opinion i think think, think, think that would really set you know some of the cards that can move better as ball carriers apart and make them actually viable um but i feel like there isn't enough ball carrier besides like fast break that's the only one that is, is designed for quarterback ball carriers where when, when we're looking at pocket passers we have you know a bunch of abilities you know all the abilities basically just for pocket passers um so yeah i think there needs to be more mobile qb abilities and ea's done a good job with bringing in new abilities into the game and things like that but i do think uh scramblers could use you know some uh you know some, some better some some, 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 different, some some different abilities in my opinion so now auto gram we're gonna put him at s tier i really didn't mention i really didn't talk much about him i was just i was kind of just rambling there but let me go back to him um he does get discounted gunslinger and, and set feet leads. you can go gunslinger set feet and if you want to go with gift wrap that would be a six ap setup or for me i've been running gunslinger set feet on autogram and he's and he's been playing pretty well for me um and he has that uh gen 2 release which a bunch of quarterbacks in this game have right now and next up we have patrick mahomes it does look like he's pretty upset about an offsides penalty there in that picture but 80 speed 83 acceleration six foot three 230 he does have the slinger to release slinger to release is the Mahomes release and it's a little bit clunky sometimes if you, you know it, it looks ugly in my opinion and it's crazy that he's been the cover athlete two years and his release is still like garbage or you know he like lifts his head and the ball like really like comes out wide um but this card's not bad you know from the pocket he definitely can play the only issue with this card is if you are uh actually never mind he does get hot route master i forgot about that um but you know seven feet hot route um only, only can pick one obviously there's no quarterback that can get both right now in the game but to me Mahomes, you know he can move in the pocket a little bit um, but the reason why this card would be good is because he's able to he has a really good throw on the run animation Slinger two, one of the best throw on the run animations in the game right now But from the pocket it's a little bit clunky and of course no discounted abilities and things like that. So I do think he is ah, It's tough. It's even tough. If I would put him over Matthew Stafford I like I think I'm gonna put Stafford over Mahomes because I actually do like the Stafford release more than the Mahomes release However, if you do need hot route master Matt Stafford cannot get it. So you could definitely interchange these two depending on your needs and your preferences. If you need hot route master, go Patty. 
If you don't, I think Matt Stafford has the better release um, and, you know, that does get the same abilities. No discounts yet on these cards. And next up, we got Derrick Henry. So with Derrick Henry, right, I mean, this card's going for 1.2 million. And I'm telling you right now, I made a short this morning. I made a video yesterday. Do not touch this card, even for a million coins. Do not touch this card. If you look at the quarterback landscape right now, there is no reason why you should be spending over 500k for a quarterback. There just isn't. Or even 450. There's no reason why you should be spending over that price for any of these quarterbacks. All of them are really good buys, in my opinion. You could justify buying every single quarterback in the game besides Derrick Henry. And I'll explain why. Derrick Henry has a bad ability. Doesn't get hop route master and does not get set feet lead. This, is, this goes back to what I was saying before, where these kind of quarterbacks that come into the game need to have mobile abilities, like ball carrier abilities um you know that kind of sets him apart from someone like you know joe montana or um you know uh kurt warner like we need that in this game i i really do feel that way but you know one ap dashing dead eye and even as a ball carrier right i said it earlier with auto graham you know trucking and stiff arm doesn't matter all that matters is having a good juke move and even high carrying on a quarterback as a ball carrier because if you're trucking with derrick henry yes derrick henry's a running back in real life but in madden he's in the quarterback bracket so he'll fumble just like a quarterback although he's a running back he's in a fumble just like he's a quarterback although the stats are amazing the release at gen one is pretty mid in my opinion good speed good acceleration the stats on this card are honestly amazing but the abilities and you know i don't know the release just isn't great so i'm gonna put derrick henry this one this one is tough this one is definitely tough oh man i'll put derrick henry in front of these two guys like as much as i don't why it's just no i don't know if i can like i really don't know i'm gonna put him behind i really don't know if i can do that i, I it's crazy to say like, I'm really on the fence about this one, but I think I am going to put Derrick Henry back there. And it's just because of the release. And, you know, I don't think his style of card this year really fits the meta right now at quarterback. I just don't think it I just don't think it does. I don't think it does. You know, defensive players are getting faster. Uh, more KOs are on the field. Faster reaction than to two deep zones. So I feel like set feet lead is, like, kind of necessary on a quarterback right now. I, that, that's just my opinions. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know, man. Next man up is Trevor Lawrence, a super overlooked card, but he's pretty good. Gen 2 release, which again, a bunch of quarterbacks have in this year's game. Um, 86 speed, 90 acceleration, can move very well, can escape the pocket very well. Uh, pretty good accuracy stats besides the mid accuracy, but 90, 90, 90, 90, 93 throw, throw power. Um, it all does look pretty good to me. So uh, Trevor Lawrence, solid card. If you have a, if you, if you like Trevor Lawrence or, you know, want to use him on a Jaguars team, this, this card's a great buy right now, pretty much for quick sell. And can someone please explain to me how this man went out there and ran and moved the way he did this weekend? After what happened on Monday, how? How? I, I, I don't get it. I mean, you know, he must have been on that Rodgers shit for sure, bro. But yeah, Trevor Lawrence, A tier, really solid option at quarterback. And next up, we have the 93 overall Mike Vick, who a lot of us, you know, don't have yet. But some people are definitely approaching to getting this 93 Mike Vick. Some people actually might have him already. I actually don't know. I don't really know. I'm at level 50s possible yet. But. 94 speed 91 acceleration he'll be the best physical qb most likely when he comes out as far as speed goes um good juke move good cod and good carrying so as far as being a mobile qb uh, you know a guy that can run the read option at a high level mike vick will be the best in the game when he comes out however that style of quarterback is not that great in madden in general mainly because all you have to do is unless you have like a really deep you know speed option playbook and things like that all your opponent would have to do is just go in their settings put quarterback option on conservative and mike vick is out of the game and you have to rely on him as a passer. As a passer, though, he's got really good stats. It's very similar to Derrick Henry in a way, but he doesn't get set feet or hot route master. Um, doesn't get backyard QB, but it is 4 AP. That's very expensive for a, an ability in a 7 AP meta, in my opinion, unless it is set feet lead, which I think is definitely worth it. 1 AP jukebox is nice, but again, if they just put the setting on, he's out of the game base, pr pretty much as a runner, um, you know, effective runner. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. It might, like Mike Vick to me, I love his release. I love Mike Vick cards. I've been, I was using the, you know, the 88 Mike Vick for way too long. Um, but you know, now we have set feet lead quarterbacks and um, someone that, and if you like, you, if you know, you know, if you've used a set feet lead quarterback, it's tough to go back. It, it's so tough to make that adjustment mentally again because some throws that are open that you make with set feet lead are interceptions um, or even incomplete passes. You know, using without using set feet lead. So I love Mike Vick. Slinger one release, my favorite this year still. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second again but my Vic to me can i put him in s tier no i'll put him in high a tier though um to me him or derrick henry if you want a mobile qb um are very similar but i do i do prefer mike Vick because mike Vick has the better carrying the juke move as well as having the better release that's why mike Vick is above derrick henry um and then you know mahomes over derrick henry because of set feet 
Stafford for the same reason and Trevor Lawrence again good speed and it is the same reasoning there so um, just to kind of get in my mind let's get to the next card next quarterback the next man up is Jalen Hurts and I really do believe for the coins for a majority of players is Jalen Hurts is the best I, I I really do feel that way and the reason for this is you know obviously he's got speed and acceleration so if you got to roll out, if you got to run with your quarterback, if you want to run read options, you can do that with Jalen Hurts. The carrying does scare me, like, you get on the ground with this card, if you need, but if also, if you need, like, you know, end of the game, you got to get out of bounds, you have no timeouts, you got to score a touchdown, he has that ability where he can definitely make something special happen as a ball carrier with a good COD, as well as a good juke move. Um, but yeah, in, in a majority of carries, get on the ground, because he will fumble, it happened in my game plan, I record with him, I've also heard a lot of people complain about it, but over 90 in all the stats, 94 throw power is elite. Also does get that Gen 2 release. And of course, the most important part is now we have discounted abilities and he does get zero AP gift wrap. Gift wrap is still pretty much a necessity as far as throwing high balls and even open players just dropping passes. It's so frustrating, but it still happens without gift wrap. So gift wrap, set feet. If you want to go gunslinger for six AP, those three is actually, you know, it's actually a pretty good setup right there. So Jalen Hurts for a majority of players. I think Jalen Hurts is absolutely elite in this game and uh, easily, you know, a top two, maybe even the maybe number one quarterback in the game right now. And next up, we got Anthony Richardson. So Anthony Richardson, he was the best quarterback in the game when he came out. Obviously, the speed and the seven feet lead and a good release does put him there. Um, but I, I do think if you, you know, obviously you say you're someone that's not tied to a theme team or maybe you have a theme team, you just want to use the best quarterback. It doesn't make sense to really use this card over Jalen Hurts' card because no discount abilities. I think Hurts is better as a ball carrier. Again, you know, you know he's, he's able to truck and stiff arm, but you're not doing that with your quarterback. Like, like you're just not, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, yes, he can move a little bit. I think Hertz has better stats. I, you know, I do think in most instances, Richardson does actually have the better release than Jalen Hurts, but I would take Jalen Hurts for the, for the discount abilities. And I do think that Hertz release is a lot more consistent. So I'm actually going to put Richardson behind even Otto Graham. I think, you know, with a 7 AP meta on offense, discount abilities are king right now in this game. Um, especially at quarterback being able to save abilities you know ap at quarterback and then you're able to either do more on your quarterback or either maybe able to you know do more on your rest of your offense maybe get a jukebox running back or you know you know a, a, an apprentice wide receiver or whatever you need to do because in a lot of setters people are not actually running high round master they're running set feet leading now they need apprentices and a guy like tyree kill for example with one ap slot apprentice now you're able to kind of work that in much easier with you know using discounted ability so autogram jalen Hurts, richardson are in my top three we still have one more card to cover and that is, of course, the AKA Joe Flacco. Okay, here he is, Joe Flacco. And I'm gonna say this right now, Joe Flacco is the best passer in the game right now. He's the best passer in the game. Six foot six with Slinger one is butter. And I'm telling you right now, if you've not used Slinger one, everyone gets the free Mike Vick. Everyone gets the free Mike Vick. I know he's a lefty. Just go into practice mode and just feel that release. Just, just, just do it. It, it is still so good. People, you know, they, they say it's been nerfed or whatever from last season or whatever, you know what I mean? But this release is so pure. They basically have turned Joe Flacco into, you know, what, like what Brett Favre cards would be in this year's game. Obviously, he's not in the game. But um, yeah, you know, he can even move pretty well too. I will say that right now. So I think if you don't need to rely on the ability to run the football, Joe Flacco is the best option. If you like being able to roll out and run read options, Jalen Hurts is the best option. It really comes down to preference, in my opinion, for who the best quarterback in the game right now is. But from the pocket, you look at the throw under pressure, the 90s and over over 90 and all the accuracy stats, you know, and him being six foot six with Slinger one, it is just a buttery how well this card plays. Um, the only thing about this card that I'm not the biggest fan of, right? That, oh, someone said, bro, Kurt Warner's way better than him. Nah, that's crazy. This guy, I would report him, but I can't. Um, but yeah, I would run Seth Philly on this card. And Woodslinger 1, you don't really need Gunslinger. And he actually does get right here the Gunslinger, aka upgrade, which turns on and off. So, you know, throughout the game, you'll have Gunslinger some, you know, some snaps, and then you'll have it, and then it'll turn off and come back, you know, things, things like that. But with Slinger 1, you don't need to really rely on Gunslinger that much because it is very fast. But when it's on, it's nice to have. Also, you can, you, you can go with the Hot Route Master upgrade or whatever you want to do, even the Fearless upgrade. But I think with 95 throw under pressure, he's fine. He plays okay. So, uh, my ideal setup for Flacco. Uh, it would be set feet lead, and then I would go with uh, gift wrapped, and then I would run the zero AP gunslinger upgrade. That's what I would do on Joe Flacco. And yes, I do believe Flacco, the best pocket passing QB in the game right now. But uh, Jalen Hurts, if you like being more mobile with your quarterback, that's kind of the switch up. So I, I feel like, yeah, you know, the 1A, 1B right now are Hurts and Joe Flacco. Um, in my opinion, depending on, you know, your preference and how you how your offense plays and things like that. Um, yeah, that, that's my opinion. So let, let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think? Who's too high? Who's too low? Who is your favorite quarterback in the game right now? 
And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.